Hey guys, welcome to Sunday Problem Solving Challenge. So in this series, every week we are discussing some challenging problems related to our competitive exams. So today I came up with a puzzle. So let's start this day with a simple puzzle. So you can expect this kind of questions in your competitive exams. So here you could see the question. I noticed that my watch goes one by two minute fast at dusk, but at dawn it loses one by three minute. On first March morning, my watch saw right time. Then on which date the watch is five minutes fast? So for this question, you don't need much mathematical skills. So if you have a common sense, if you have an interpreting ability, you can answer this question in less than two minutes. I will show you how to solve this problem and what is given in the question. So you have a watch. Okay, it's actually I have a watch and it is first March morning. It shows the correct time. So we can take a uh, first March morning at five o'clock, right? So early morning, five o'clock, my watch shows correct time. And what is given? So this watch is gaining half minutes fast at dusk. So what is dusk? By evening, this watch will get half minutes fast. And by morning, right? So but at dawn, so dawn is by morning, it will lose one by three minute. Now, let's start with first March, early morning, five o'clock for your understanding, right? So you can take it anytime. So but it is first March month, it's first March morning, it shows the right time. March morning, it shows the right time. Correct time. Now on the same day evening, right? So on the same day evening, it will gain half minute fast, right? So by evening, it will gain half minute fast. But at the dawn, it loses one by three minute, right? So by, but at the dawn, it loses one by three minute. Now on first day morning, five o'clock, it has shown the correct time. Now on first day morning, it will gain one by three minute. It will lose one by three minute on the same day evening it will gain half minute so overall what is the deviation it is minus one by three plus one by two so if we solve this we get how much so it is minus two plus three by three into two six so it is one by six minute that means in 24 hours right so from first march 5 a.m to second march 5 a.m so it is complete 24 hours right in 24 hours, there is a deviation of one by six minute, right? So in one day, it will gain one by six minutes because it is plus one by six you are getting. So in one day, you will get one by six minute. Now our question is in how many days, right? So in how many days or in which date, it will be five minutes fast. For one day, if it is one by six minute fast, in how many days it will be five minutes fast? So it is five by one by six minute per day. So it will be on 30 days, right? So first March, it has shown the correct time. After 30 days, it will be five minutes fast. Now the confusion is we want to choose March 30th or March 31st. And obviously most of us will choose March 31st as the answer. But if you choose March 31 as the answer, it will go wrong. I will tell why, because from one to three, four, five, six. So for your understanding, I'm writing like this, right? So 30, 31. So March 1 to March 31, right? See, it is March 1st, it shows the correct time. So from March 1 to 2, it is 24 hours, right? So March 1, 5 a.m. to 2nd March 5 a.m., it is 24 hours. In this 24 hours, it have gained one by six minutes. And from two to three, right? So it is another one by six minutes from three to four. It is another one by six minutes. So in this way, from one till 30th, we have how many gaps? See, for these two dates, you have one gap for one, two and three, right? So from for these three days, you have two gaps from one to 30. You will have 29 gaps, right? So it is one by six. Now, 30 to 31. Right, so 30 to 31. Now, if you consider 30 to 31, see on this 30th day, it will gain another one by six minutes. Now, you don't want to consider the 31st day because if you take the 31st day on morning, it will lose one by three minutes. That is actually not needed. So they are asking in how many days, I mean, on which day exactly it will be five minutes fast. That is on 30th evening, exactly it will be five minutes fast. It's very simple, right? Because it is one by six per day, right? So it will gain one by six minutes per day for 30 days, one by six into 30, it will gain five minutes. 
right? So from one till 31, so you totally have 30 gaps. That is by the end of 30th, right? So 30th evening, it will gain five minutes. So now what is the final answer? It is March 30 evening. It will be five minutes fast. I hope you are clear with the question, right? So this kind of questions are really common. See, you 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 may came, uh, came across this kind of question. For example, a frog climbs uh, 10 feet every day and it will come down six feet by the end of the day. And next day, again, it will climb another 10 feet and it will come six feet by the end of day. So in how many days the uh, frog will climb the wall? So this kind of questions are very common, right? So we have to use a lot of common sense to solve this kind of questions. So I believe you understood with the problem, right? So try to work out, work out this kind of problem by your own. And every week Sunday, I will come up with this kind of uh, challenging and brain teasing question. So stay connected. And if you feel this is helpful for you, like it. And if you feel this is helpful for someone, share it to them. All the very best. Thank you so much.